I have uh, for months now uh, talked about how important it is to uh, degrade the capacity of the Russian military to strike into Ukraine uh, with impunity because Ukraine hasn't been able to strike on factories and military production sites uh, in Russia. Uh, we have called for that for a while, so I think it's a good thing that the United States has done that and other partners are doing that. Uh, I had an excellent conversation uh, with, uh, with President Biden. Uh, he is a friend and an ally. Uh, we talked about uh, a lot of different things and we're uh, going to continue to, uh, to make sure we're, uh, uh, we're working together in the coming months. There's a lot of speculation about what might happen after uh, inauguration in, at the end of January, uh, but between now and then there's still an awful lot to do that we're very much focused on. Uh, I know uh, that Ukraine was, uh, I can tell you that Ukraine was brought up uh, significantly by many, many people around the table, not just the G7. Um, we are all extremely concerned about the impact of uh, the destabilization of the rules-based order that Russia has engaged in. And that's why it is important, not just for Ukraine, but for democracies around the world that we continue to step up. And we're very aware of potential challenges uh, with uh, President Trump coming in, uh, but we're not going to uh, panic. We're going to continue to stay focused on getting the support to Ukraine that Ukraine needs uh, to win this war and establish peace.